In this tutorial, I'll cover the following topics. We'll take a quick look at what's in the box. We'll look at the bottom of the phone and see where to connect the handset, Ethernet cables, optional headset and power cord, and the location of the expansion module, USB, and keyboard connectors. Then I'll show you how to attach the reversible stand for 30 and 60 degree viewing angles. When you order one of these SIP telephones, inside the box you'll find the telephone, a handset and cord, and a reversible stand. Now let's turn the phone over and look at the bottom of the phone. There are seven connectors, or jacks, on the bottom of the phone, and one optional power connection. The first connector is a headset connector. Here you would connect a headset with an RJ9 or RJ22 4-pin connector. For DHSG and EHS headsets with an RJ45, 6, or 8-pin connector, remove the plastic headset jack adapter. For electronic hook switch, you will need a DHSG EHS cable which may come bundled with your headset or purchased separately from the headset manufacturer. The 6869i supports multiple headset interfaces. In addition to the RJ45 and modular 4-pin connector, it also supports a USB headset. The next two connectors are the LAN and PC Gigabit Ethernet connectors. The LAN connector must be connected to your network. This is the connector that will give your phone telephone service. I'll talk about the PC connector in just a minute. If your company provides inline power, or power over Ethernet, you will not need to use the optional AC power adapter. This is because your phone is getting the power from the Ethernet connection. But if your company does not provide power over Ethernet, then you will need to use the optional AC power adapter. Plug one end into the phone and the other end into an AC outlet. Now let's talk about the PC connector. These phones have a built-in high-performance Ethernet switch. This means you can share a single network connection with your phone and your PC and maintain a high quality throughput. This can be very helpful if there's only one network connection in your area. With the main network connection plugged into your LAN connector, then a second cable is used to connect your phone's PC connector to your computer's Ethernet card or connector. This way, with no additional equipment, you can share one network connection with both your phone and your computer. The next connector is the handset connector. Attach the handset and handset cord. Then plug the handset cord into this connector. Your phone comes ready to use with an optional expansion module. There is a cover you will need to remove to expose the expansion module connector. The USB connector is a USB 2.0 port and has a maximum rating of 100 milliamps. The 6869i uses a magnetic keyboard connector to connect an optional keyboard. This provides an easy way to enter text or number entries such as in the directory or speed dial numbers. Now let's attach the reversible stand. The stand provides a 30 degree or 60 degree viewing angle. Attaching the stand like this will give the phone a higher 60 degree viewing angle. Gently put the stand in the telephone slot. Slide the stand to the right and it will snap into place. To change the viewing angle and reverse the stand, Push down on the plastic tab that just snapped into place and slide the stand to the left. Turn the stand around and reattach the stand. Insert your cables into the flexible rubber grips to hold and neatly organize your cables. This concludes the hardware overview. Your phone is now assembled and ready for use. Additional tutorials are available on how to set up, configure, and use the telephone features.